Hey what's going on guys, Tertiwerty here and welcome back to another Minecraft mining tutorial for version 1.15. In this tutorial I am going to be covering item properties. So you may be wondering what are item properties. Item properties are basically properties within an item. So uh, think about block states for blocks. Uh, blocks have their different properties which are stored in the block state. Items have the same thing, or at least they have the capabilities of the same thing. Um, a good example of this is the compass and the clock. Those both use item properties for the angle um, and the time. So I'm going to be creating um, an item which changes uh, its texture based on its count. Uh, I think that's the best uh, example of what I can show you. So let's go ahead and get started. So first we need to go ahead and register the item. So um, it's just a normal item, it, there's nothing different except I'm going to set the max stack size to 4. So um, I'm going to have 4 different textures for my item. Um, obviously you can have as many as you want. Um, but I'm going to have 4 so that there is 4 states, 4 textures. Um, and that just uh, does some simplicity for this tutorial. And I'm going to call this item a crystal. And that's going to be equal to items.register crystal. And then the supplier is just a new item of a new item.properties uh, group tutorial item group dot instance and then dot max stack size I'm going to set to 4 and just format that and there we go now that is it for the item in it you may be wondering why don't we have a new class to add these properties and the answer to that is you can however um, you need to make sure it's on the right side um, and to do that I'm going to instead do that in our client event bus so I'm going to come down here in the client setup and I'm going to do item minute dot crystal dot get dot add property override and then a new resource location this is the key, so this is what um, will be referenced in the item model. Um, and this should take in your mod ID and um, the actual thing. So if you look here, it takes in the namespace and the path. So the namespace is your mod ID. So that will be tutorial mod dot mod ID. And then the path, um, I'm just going to do um count for that okay and then for the getter we can do um a new i item property uh, i item property getter that one and you see that automatically gets us this call method and i'm just going to rename these variables so I'm going to call that one stack. I'm going to call this one world in, and I'm going to call this one entity in. Now you can obviously do anything with your item properties, but I am choosing to do count. Uh, I think it's just it, it's simple, but you can do anything. Um, you can you don't even have to do something which changes like that exactly. You could do, for example, if entity in dot um, is airborne then you could change the texture um, you can do anything really um, count is literally just for simplicity of this tutorial uh, and I don't want to overcomplicate uh, it too much so I'm going to do a switch on this so I'm going to switch off stack dot get count just like that and case um, 1, we're going to want to return 0.25 F. You need to make sure it's a float. 
Okay, and I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it for four times. So we'll have case one, case two, case three, case four. That is because we have four, uh, we have a max stack size of four. So obviously we need to account for each um, item in that stack. So the second one I'm going to turn 0.5 then 0.75 and for case 4 I'm going to return uh, 1.0 now you do need to make sure these values are between 0 and 1 um, so obviously you can have as many values as you want between 0 and 1 because there's infinite um, but you have to make sure it is between 0 and 1 otherwise it just won't work um, and as the default I'm going to just return uh, 0.25 uh, actually no, I will return 0.0f just in case and yeah that is that's that for all the code um, obviously you can do loads of things in here but you do need to make sure it is client side everything you do in here is client so if you wanted to do something server you could either store it in the nbt so you could use an event um, and store uh, what you get as a result in the NBT and then here you can read it from NBT I'll have a tutorial on uh, NBT data soon very soon actually um, so don't worry about that and also you can use packets if it's something that you can't store in NBT um, and I will also have a video on that soon as well um, as that's rather simple uh, it just gets over complicated a lot so now we can go ahead and do the assets now their assets can be very long for this so I'm just going to go into models.item I'm going to copy our deferred item right there and I'm going to rename that crystal now obviously you just want to change in here def item to crystal but I'm going to name it crystal one because I want the default texture to be um, one crystal uh, so basically our first texture so you're gonna have to have a different texture for each um, for each variant or you can make um, every other variant or whatever use the same texture you can basically decide on how you want to do your textures but after this bracket right here you can put a comma and we're going to create an overrides with square brackets because it's a list well an array um, and in here you want some predicates so I'm just going to do that that's what you're going to want so two uh, brackets and a comma on the end and in here we're going to have first predicate and that will have some more brackets and this is where you will have your property so because we put our mod ID in um, for the resource location we're going to want tutorial mod colon and then it will be the key which we put as type or the path actually um, which is also the key and that will be um, well the first one that will be 0, 0.0 and then after this bracket we can do comma and then this one is the model so this is where the item model will be so that's obviously just going to be tutorial mod colon and I'm going to actually create a new package specifically for these textures inside our models.item I'm going to create dot crystal and all of our crystal textures will uh, be directed oh, no all of our crystal item models will be directed into there so we can do item slash crystal so this will basically um, yeah so this is item slash crystal so this refers to this this uh, JSON right here uh, you may think that there is going to be recursion due uh, down to this because we're referring to the same item the same model that it's already in um, but I believe Minecraft handles that pretty well um, that they 
do an exception so that uh, properties can be done like this. So that refers back to this JSON and then takes it from here, um, which is why we have that one in there. And we also want the same for one. So uh, no, 0 0.25, because that will also be our count. Uh, our count of one will be 0 0.25, and our count of zero will be zero. Um, and they both refer to this. So basically, zero is the default if it doesn't have a count, which it should never not have a count. But just in case, um, we we have that there anyways. And then we have our count of one, which is also going to have the same texture as the default. And then we will have our other ones. So I'm going to copy these two. And I'm going to paste them twice and get rid of this last one. Okay, and this instead of being directed to here, we're going to do slash on the end of each of these. Okay, and then it will be the name of the JSON. So this will be crystal 2, this will be crystal 3, and this will be crystal 4. And we're just going to obviously have to change these. So this one's 0.5, 0.75. And then the last one is 1.0. And if you format that, it will look a bit weird. But if you prefer it like this, you can have it like this. And this is how I am going to keep it. Um, I do prefer it the other way. But uh, this is just how it likes it to be formatted. So I'm going to keep it this way. Uh, just because why not? Um, so yeah, that's that for that JSON, but obviously we need the JSONs that were referenced in there in this crystal thing. So I'm going to create a new file, and I'm going to call this crystal2.json. Okay, and this is just a normal item model, so I already have this copied, and I'm just going to paste that in. I'm then going to copy it, paste it for crystal3 and crystal4. Then I'm just going to edit these to change the number here. So that one's crystal 3, and that one's crystal 4. Just like that. Now we can just go ahead and add the textures. I've already done that, so you can just refresh once you've added them. And my textures are in here, crystal 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then we need to just add the lang, which will take us seconds. So let's just go to the bottom of our items and do item.tutorial mod dot crystal and we're just going to call that crystal and just give that a save and that is it we can now go ahead and run the game and we should have our item in there. Okay, one thing guys, uh, I accidentally put type instead of count in here. I don't know why, I just, yeah, I don't know how I did that. Um, but yeah, we're in the game now. Uh, if I just press F3 and T, because I have to reload it after that little slip up. But after I do that, we should see that our item has four different um, textures now, depending on how many there are in the stack. So as you can see right here, um, we have this one, which has four in the stack. So that is four. So here we go. I'll show you. Three and four. One, two, three. One, two, one. So we got our um, item with just a count of one. We've got our item with a count of two. Our item with a count of three. And our item with a count of four. Um, I'm actually pretty impressed with these textures, I'm not going to lie. Um, <laughs> no, normally my textures aren't the greatest, um, I will admit. But uh, I'm I'm relatively impressed with this. Um, but yeah, 
um, that is it for this tutorial. Um, if you guys did enjoy this tutorial, please do be sure to smash your face into that like button and subscribe. If you really enjoyed, please do be sure to share it. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.